Hey guys, this is Omni Jair Bear here doing the Toys Day Tuesday East video. Uh, this is the Figma Prince Eugene's. Oh, that was a terrible zoom in. I can't see anything. Sorry about that, guys. From the Kantai collection or Can Um And Prince Eugene's is supposed to represent the uh, Prince Eugene um, ship from World War II from Germany. Uh, which, uh, you know, I mean, they were Nazis, but, uh, in this, in Jap in Japanese anime, they kind of recreate, usually, just like in Strike Witches, a different alien force or evil force, uh, which I think, I forget what they call them, um, but they're, it's, it's a, they have a different whole alien force, and, and I've done some videos, uh, will class, and, um, they're uh, they're up there so uh but so not nazis just just german boating um german boating um german battleships <laughs> um but anyway this is a different a little bit different from the figma boxes normally because normally the figma boxes this is nothing this is just color um and i find that very interesting that they changed to more of an advertising kind of box uh, you can also see the top, which is really cool, but, um, I don't know, we'll see w what happens in the future. Uh, but, yeah, enough about looking at the box, let's open this character. Okay, guys, and here's the Prince Eugene Figma outside of the box. Um, as you can tell, she's got the iron crosses instead of, you know, the other symbols that Germany had used during World War II, which, you know, they're not very good symbols, but... Um, we're gonna move on from that. I really like that they put detail in, uh, every little thing, including the anchor hair clips, which is really cool. Um, and it's, it's really, really awesome. Even the detail in this, like, gun ship gun. It's really awesome. Uh, her spats. Uh, that's what you call those things that you put over, the, the mud flap boot covers and then of course her her uh ship her mecha ship for the mecha mizume part of her it's really cool um you can see kind of where it attaches in the back right that that precarious peg there i don't know it's very heavy so you have to actually put it on a stand when you have that on um which it comes with an additional that additional uh, bent piece, of course, uh, for that reason, because, because it is very heavy, but it also, you don't want to lose any of the, uh, range of motion or height, so, uh, she comes with two faceplates, one for the surprised or embarrassed faceplate, and then another, uh, for a battle-ready faceplate, um, and then four, uh, pairs of hands uh, in addition to the default. She also comes with a different fringe because um, I see that they are definitely realizing that hats uh, don't always stay on permanently. So they put a little peg on here and there is, a, oh man, it's not really focusing in right. They put a little peg on the head on this, on this fringe um, with a little hole in the hat. So um, you can't see it unless I take the, take her, take your hat off of her hand. And it took a very long time to pose put that in there um but there is a hole back there and it goes into that peg so it holds it a little bit better and sorry for the crackling um but i'm trying to open up this extra thing that they also come with uh, because i ordered it from the good smile company um store online store and they gave you a bonus of a super smiley happy face uh faceplate if you ordered from there so i think she is still up for order she's really cool like I said um you know despite uh i mean she's related to just the german boat uh uh engineering and stuff so i mean not not the other nazi evil people so uh because they don't exist in her world um they're abyssals that's what the enemies are, are, are i was thinking of they are going to be doing a figma iowa which is the american uh ship uh based off of the uss iowa uh mecha mizume so i'm hoping that they do do the abyssals because the abyssals have a really cool design um and they're not since they're kind of made up they're not based off of any real ships anyway guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video